Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Wayward Terran Frontier Zero Falls, an interesting little space exploration RPG that's currently in early access. Um, the developers offered me a key to show the game off, and without any further ado, let's jump on into the campaign, I reckon. And yeah, basically, what sounds cool about it is that by, I guess, the end game, we'll be like, piloting like these giant ships and stuff, but it's all on this like scale of just like little individual crew members as well. And uh, also apparently like every single structure we encounter, we can actually enter, just send off a little boarding party and go exploring, which sounds pretty cool to me. So let's uh, just skip past the loading and I'll see you when we're in. Okay, here we are. So yeah, look at that. We're just like a little crew member guy over here. We've got a gun. We've got something that's not a gun. All right. F to access cargo, okay. Ah, repair tool. Fire extinguisher and mining laser. I mean, obviously we're just gonna take everything. Oh, we've got a cool captain's jacket. All right. All right, so we got all our tools. Um, let's, uh, how do I access my inventory from here? That is, that is an inventory. But is that, uh, oh, it's E. There we go. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, maybe plop that in there. We'll take our mining laser. Fire extinguisher, though, is, of course, most important. All right. Got a bit more cargo over here, but there's nothing in it. And we can just left-click to put the fire out. Jolly good. All right. Okay, repair the cargo bay. So we'll need our repair tool for that. Um, actually. Uh. How? How do I open the door? As it just does, doesn't want to let me in. Okay, there we go. We respawned. Dear Diary, Clone number 12, activation in progress. Cognitive function results, tolerable. Combat aptitude training results, embarrassing. Complete lack of empathy test results, outstanding. Special note, this one looks even dumber than the last. We'll test self-esteem and listening skills before recycling. I'm inclined towards not being recycled, thank you. Oh, excellent. Well, as much as I would love to turn you into algae fertilizer, I, sif I simply haven't got time. We have reached our destination, and I'm really anxious to get back to not talking to you. Okay, where are we then? Excellent question. I was just about to add or explain things you need to be doing. We've been in deep space for a few hundred years. There are a whole lot of guys who want to shoot us, and we need a planet to land on. A few hundred years, you say? Unfortunately, the only habitable planet in this system is guarded by a bunch of jerks in big deadly warships whose job is to prevent us from landing. And you expect me to do something about that? I would be happy to land on some barren lifeless rock or maybe some flaming molten death trap of a planet, but since your body can't handle breathing molten metal, I figure our only chance is a bit of creative exploratory violence. I like the sound of that, uh, Jarvis. That's what I'm going to call you. Or Jeeves. You're Jeeves now. Also, at some point, one of us will have to talk to a human without anyone realizing you're actually a hyper-intelligent computer. It's probably the only thing you can do better than me. I'm about 70% certain of this. Why do we need to land on a planet anyway? I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I don't need to. I want to. You're the one who is going to need to land on a planet unless you want to spend the rest of your life on a space station eating food made from your recycled siblings. Ooh, I have a space station, apparently. Oh yeah, I found us a really neat one. It has a matter reclaimer and a ship fabricator and a fancy system for making copies of you. It used to be a terraforming supply base, but it has long since been abandoned. Oh yes, I suspect you'll die a lot. I'm already preparing the system because I honestly don't trust you to survive performing even the most basic of tasks. So let's teach you how to operate a ship. Alright, sure I was born for this. Yes, figuratively. Ooh, I was 3D printed, you say, and squirted out of a tube. Nifty. 
Your first task will be going to the bridge. Just walk towards the ship until you see some pretty lights that look like uh, ship controls you can activate. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Then we can, of course, access the cargo again. But do we really need to access the cargo? Probably not. Huh. I do find myself curious, though, as, um, this is definitely a different ship than what we were on previously. A lot of, uh, cargo access, isn't there? Not that that's a bad thing. Anyway, let's focus on, I guess, getting to the front of the ship also. Man, this is pretty fancy, isn't it? And got little, like, torpedo tubes and everything. All right. Good, you found the bridge. Now, don't just wildly press buttons. We've taken a lot of damage over the many years in deep space. Not to mention, also, it just occurred to me, this guy's name is, or our, our robot friend's name is One. So, I'm still calling him Jeeves, though. He's Jeeves. Now, don't just wildly press buttons. We've taken a lot of damage over the many years in deep space. Not to mention those nice fellows that shot at us for no good reason. Will you tell me that story someday? Oh, they were such nice people, but pay attention. The most important thing to learn on this screen is just that you can access F1 for an explanation of what you're looking at. When you're done with that, I understand you've already learned the basics of flying a ship. Would you please get us docked to that station over there? Yeah, sure. I've flown towards things before. Okay. Fire turrets emitters. Launch missile. Launch all missiles. Tab over target to lock on. Crew target. Crew stance. Alright, so there is... There's a bit to learn here. Oh, oh, we're, we're moving forward. Do I actually have any? Oh God. Oh, we, we blew up. Oh God, please, please tell me that was, uh, did you just blow up my ship? Uh, m maybe a little bit. Oh, this is great. Interesting bit of trivia here. I've used those engines and maintained those reactors without incident for 207 years 65 days, 9 hours, and 14 minutes. I managed to break the entire ship in under 10 seconds. Ah, correction. I managed to break half the ship. But we are fortunately still flying half a ship, so... You know, we might be able to get another happy landing in. <laughs> That's true, I only did what I, you told me. Well, this concludes our training in how to ruin everything. You pressed most of the buttons, so I'm giving you an A for effort. Good job. Best tutorial ever. I'm glad you enjoyed the course. There's only one more lesson for today. How to die a horrible, painful death alone in space for the robot that hates you. This course is a free-form activity. Feel free to get creative. Well, so glad I could be useful. Oh dear. Well, I mean, if I fire both thrusters simultaneously, maybe I can figure out, uh... Oh my. Um, well. How do I, uh, let's see here. Aha, there we go. You see, we're moving. Damn, I'm smart. Also, I guess we could, can I untab? Maybe not. I mean, the important thing is that we... Oh dear. Action. Oh, here we go. Are you having fun? Are you, are you gonna rescue me? Look on the bright side, you learned a valuable lesson today. Yes, I am a pro pilot now, all thanks to you, Jer Jeeves, Jerbs, whatever your name is. Well, you're just prolonging the inevitable. All of your life support was in the other half of the ship, and nobody is going to rescue you. Might as well jump out a window. I believe you created a nice big one in the entire back half of my ship. I'm actually curious, how do I... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna say, how do I, uh... Dive out of here. I wonder, if I actually dive out the back... You figure, uh, we might get something for our trouble. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Nice. I, I suspect that's kind of what we were supposed to do. How nice of you to finally join me. <laughs> it was a trick. Death smells like ozone. Doesn't everything? Yeah, probably does. I know, isn't technology great? That's a good question. Why do I remember the horrible pain of dying? The station will serve as our base of operations. There's a terraforming supply depot back when they were trying to terraform planets in the system. Okay, yeah, let's just talk about what you want to talk about. Terraforming is a huge operation that needs lots of logistics, so the most efficient way is to make your supplies in-system in a station like this one. That means you can refine ore and materials into pure energy, store the energy, and use mass conversion to create new stuff. You can make whatever we want so long as we have designs and energy for it. I thought you said this place was guarded. They put everything on hold and abandoned operations when they found out the system was flooded with violent alien monsters. They kind of left in a hurry. Terraforming was partially complete, so they posted a heavy guard around the one finished planet, but their orbital facilities were mostly left abandoned. Also, lots of them were eaten. So, great news for us, right? So, no chance they abandoned this luxury spa resort then, I suppose. No promises. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about why the station sucks for a bit. Yes, do tell. Well, its original inhabitants rarely found occasion to commit heinous acts of murderous violence and piracy, so the station's data banks can't produce any ships that will be useful for our purposes. So, uh, no ships with guns on them. Exactly. So here's where you're, or what you're gonna do. Wander over to the logistics room, and we're gonna go outside and salvage a ship with some guns on it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay, guns! Alright. Um... You know what just occurred to me? That might not actually be a, a terribly good idea to open the airlock when we don't actually have a spacesuit. Now, where is this room that we're supposed to go to? Wow! Alright, so this is more like the residential area. I wonder if we're gonna get to, uh, like, hit this place out with actual people. Can't use the bathrooms, though. That's fortunate. We don't have any... any of those sorts of needs. Is there a run button by any chance? Ooh, we're walking... walking over here. Habitat zone. Oh, cool. So we can actually teleport around. Docking zone. Command and control. Okay, so we're just back here again. I guess I'm going to look around and I'm going to try to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Because this is quite a big station. I'll see you shortly. Oh, here we go. This is the logistics room. It is essentially the command and control room for this station's core operations. Neat. And also where the coffee is made, apparently. Miners and terraforming crews would come here to have their ships repaired or refitted using the station's matter furnace and various nano lafing facilities. But all I want you to do is build us a small shuttle, a small shuttle, without causing an explosion that splits the station in half. Oh, you know it's coming. Do you think you can manage that? Uh, let's see here. How about just a small explosion? Yes, we'll, uh, push spawn ship. Hold on, I need to make sure you're prepared for what will come next. It's extremely important. Afterwards, you're gonna have to press a second button. I can't imagine it'll be simple for you. Select. It's like saying, hey, I select this ship. Look, okay, now that I think about it, I'm sure you can figure it out. You just go ahead and try. I can really tell why you need to clone a genius like me. All right. So, spawn ship, alright, and then we've... So we can't really pick anything else, you say, alright. Ooh, does it have a name? We'll call it... We'll call you... Sh oh, I've enabled caps lock at some point. We'll call you ship, just for now. Alright, your ship is ready. Now, we can use it to fly out and salvage a real ship. Conveniently, there is one nearby. I'll fill you in on the details once you reach your new ship. If you walk south, you'll find an airlock. You'll know it's the right one when you walk through it without getting sucked into the vacuum of space and dying. 
Okay, that's that is actually rather useful. Okay. All right, then we can immediately use this. We can undock, and then we just kind of back up. Oh, let's see. I see you figured out how to undock the ship. Let's get on towards your destination now. Ship I found isn't far from here. I'll just follow these green numbers then. Oh, apparently I activated some kind of uh, tractor beam maybe? Whoa, God, this thing's handling is god awful. But I shall persevere. Oh, there it is. Okay, now let's see what the state this thing is in. Do you think you can dock with it? All right, run me through the basics. Sure. First, you'll need to toggle docking mode on by clicking, oh, left shift, okay dokely You'll see some pretty lights representing the location of each docking port. Just line up the ports and you are close enough, or when you are close enough, press X. I'll assume that since you made it this far, you know how to fly a ship, so I'll contact you when you got the thing back to the station. Will do. Also, don't forget you can hold most button one to move the ship sideways. Okay, so docking mode. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, this thing handles like a brick. I really hope we get a, a better ship soon. Actually, can I just, does turning off docking mode in any way help us? Probably, oh god. Oh man, this thing is, its handling is absolutely god awful. I hope, I hope whatever ship it is that we're coming for will be easier. Oh god, no, don't destroy it. Okay. Or no, 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 I want you to move this way. Okay, and E. Oh, X, Dirk. There we go. So then we can press F, we zoom in, activate the old airlock, we arrive on the ship. Aha! Oh, wow, this thing is a hunk of, er, I mean, hey, good news! We should have no issue adapting this technology because it's perfectly compatible with our station's database. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. No, this ship is just going to fit right in with our totally empty database. Can't wait until you bring it back and salvage, uh, salvage it. You don't have... let's see here. I'm not sure that's how databases work. Now the human lectures the computer on how databases work. No, I would not. In the future, I'm picking the ships we steal. I am sure you're wasting my time. Great, so we'll agree you'll stop worrying about it and complete the mission. Now to the next point on our agenda. The ship is wrecked. Wouldn't be salvage otherwise. Looks like the crew all died as a result of the main reactor losing containment. Should be fairly easy to repair. You should have a repair gun in your inventory. Equip it and start repairing things until the ship works again. Alrighty then. There we go. Uh... Of course, it was the reactor that was busted, so I suppose that's what we got to go in here and uh, check out, isn't it? There we go. Get some uh, juicy repairs going on there. There we are. Yeah, just keep spraying our magic goo juice until everything is not broken. Oh yeah, look at that. It's coming together just perfectly. Music seems to have gotten a little loud, doesn't it? But we'll worry about that some other time. Okay, any other, uh, any other bits that we need to worry about? A couple. A couple bits here and there. But, uh, nothing too, too terrible. Alright, I mean, I'm, I also think our ship would tell us if there was... Okay, we'll undock. There we go. Okay, this thing handles a little bit better, but still kind of garbage. Just a little bit. And what are these little 
little doohickey mabobs here are trying to tell me. Probably something important, if I had to guess. Alright, let's uh, get this thing docked. There we go. Little, uh, whoop. And then we dock. Bada bing, bada boom. Is this, is there an... Oh! Yeah, I wasn't, I knew that there was something not quite right. Is that, is that everything now? Potentially. In any case, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it's good enough and we're gonna, and we're gonna get out of here. Oh good, you're back. Meet me in logistics. Oh, I wonder if I could have stayed docked and just dragged the two ships together. Maybe. All right. All right, just one last step before you'll be ready to create new ships as often as you like. We're gonna have to scrap this one. Good, that ship was for jerks anyhow. Right click on the ship and select scrap and research option. Afterwards, you'll see the ship design is added to available ships for spawning at any point. Easy enough. When I detect that a ship has been scrapped, I will also unlock a bunch of weapons that you can equip onto it. They aren't fancy, just some standard stuff that was already in the database. Okay, and how do I equip those? To equip weapons, you'll need to select the ship you spawned and click on the glowing red icons to pick each gun type from the drop-down menu. I'll equip whatever weapons you like. All right. Also, if you want to repair your ship or change the attached weapons, just dock and come back anytime. If I'm repeating myself, it's because I ran many simulations, and in every instance where I repeat myself, you eventually yell something rude like BORING, thus giving me the excuse I need to stop helping you. Feel free the, to spawn the next ship on your own. Oh dear, I didn't mean it. Alright, scrap and research. Alright, so we can give it some guns. Alright, fixed machine gun. Other fixed machine gun. Um, auto cannon, because why not? And also auto cannon. Alright, there we go. And repair. Then give it a little bit of a restock. Then I guess if we come back in here, what does, uh, sh what does ship have to say anyway? I guess we just go out. Ah, there we go. Hey, would you look at that? You have a space station, a ship you can create, lots of guns and such. I dare say I can ignore you for a while. Alright, I'll go find some coffee. Neat. Good luck with that. Feel free to not tell me how that works out for you. Oh, you're just crab because you never had coffee. I'm merely relieved to have entered t or entered the portion of the plan where you can't ruin things by exploding my stuff. In fact, I encourage you to go off and get yourself killed as much as you like. We won't run out of ships or bodies. All right, neat. I suspect you'll get tired of it eventually. Contact me when you do, and we can figure out the next step. Okay. Oh, we're processing something. Possibly something important. But for now, let's, uh... Let's just zed undock. Okay, so I can shoot thing. Oh, what's that? I know I said I wouldn't bother you, but I've searched the station and it seems like they cleaned it out when they left. I noticed that. So we could really use some equipment, like maybe some body armor or a sharp stick to threaten some poor trade ship captain with. Would you mind searching the nearby abandoned mines for loot? Well, I've got nothing uh, better to do, so sure, why not? Great! Well, since you blew up the last ship, I never got a chance to teach you about travel drive. Makes travel a lot faster. You should use it. Okay. Hilarious as that sounds. Okay, just press T to travel, uh, toggle travel drive. And do watch out for asteroids. Or don't. Okay. Thank you for the advice. So if I just hit the T button. Alright, travel drive is activating. As we fly off into the distance. Though it also occurs to me it's probably almost time to wrap this episode up. Also, if I hit F1 again... Okay, so travel drive... Alright, there we go. I can see if it's active or not. Alright. Jolly good. So we've got a, a bit of distance to cover, don't we? Yes. 
Okay, so I can explore, return for conversation, go shopping. Oh! I assume that has something to do with the travel drive there. And I can shoot stuff. That's pretty fun. I mean, who doesn't like shooting stuff? Anyway, let, let, we'll get to whatever this is, and then perhaps we shall wrap this first look up. And, I mean, this looks like one of those games where we're going to have to do at least a couple episodes to get a proper feel for it. So there's going to be at least a part two, I reckon. But I'm going to skip ahead until we reach our destination, and I will see you shortly. All right, we're approaching whatever it is that we are uh, approaching here. Some kind of some kind of space station. Intriguing. Let's uh, slow right down here. Activate the old uh, docking drive. Oh, and oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I've lost, I've lost control of the ship, as I often do. Oh. Easy does it. Easy does it. Alright. I think uh, just hanging out in strafe mode is exactly... Oh, exactly it. Okay, a little more. Just line it up. There we go. Alright, so we can go on this uh, strange new uh, space station we've just found, but I think we'll wrap things up here and we'll go exploring and possibly get ourselves murder boned next episode. Until then though, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. It's always extra double super special important with anything new on the channel. And I will see all you in the next video.